Hi, our lecture today about simple bone cysts. Sometimes it's called unicameral bone cyst or UBC. What are the objectives of this lecture? We'd like to explain the pathology, clinical presentation, and imaging of the simple bone cyst or UBC. And we're going to uh, try to differentiate between simple bone cyst and aneurysmal bone cyst. And then we're going to, to outline the treatment of UBC. A good source that you can use is this book, Pediatric Orthopedic and Sport Medicine, uh, by uh, myself, Dr. Naga, and Dr. Abdu. This is the second edition of our previous book. So what is the pathology of simple bone cysts? Simple bone cyst or unicameral bone cyst is not a true tumor, so there is no proliferation of cells here. Uh, and the pathogenesis, the exact pathogenesis of why it occurs is unknown. Uh, usually it's seen in between the age of 5 and 15. Uh, it is uh, slightly more predominant in male. It's a percentage of 2 to 1. And the location, the most common location is the humerus, the proximal humerus. Uh, simple bone cyst is metaphysial lesion. It's usually in the proximal metaphysis of the uh, femur and the humerus. Of course, it can uh, occur in other areas, but the most common is proximal metaphysis of, of humerus and femur, and uh, um, the most common one is the proximal humerus. So most of the cases of the simple bone cyst that you're going to see is likely to be proximal humerus. Simple bone cysts are sometimes discovered occasionally if an x-ray taken for a different reason, uh, as they are some, most of the time they are asymptomatic. Uh, why is that? Because they grow very slowly, so there is uh, usually does not cause any pain. Uh, the most common presentation uh, of uh, unicameral bone cyst, if it's symptomatic, it will be pain due to pathological fracture. As you can see here in this case, this is a proximal humerus. We said most common um, uh, simple bone cyst is in the proximal humerus. Uh, you will find a child, um, for example, telling you he was playing baseball and then all of a sudden uh, he had severe pain or, or he was uh, playing soccer or jumping in the pool and then he felt uh, pain in the arm so you take an x-ray you will find a simple bone cyst so this is the normal architecture of the bone this is the cyst here uh, in which uh, the bone tissue is replaced by a simple cyst and you can see the pathological fracture um, also you can see the fallen leaf that we're going to talk about when we discuss the imaging of this patient uh, of this condition now let's discuss uh, the imaging of unicameral bone cyst or simple bone cyst as we said, it's usually in the metaphysis of the bone, usually in the proximal part, proximal humerus or proximal femur. But of course, it can occur in the distal part, as we're going to see some examples. So here it is. This is a simple bone cyst. You can see well-defined lesion, very thin cortex. There is usually some septa there. And there is something called full fallen leaf sign. And we're going to see this in the next slide. Uh, so this is the x-ray characteristics of uh, unicameral or simple bone cyst and um, it is a well-defined lesion it has a very thin cortex uh, uh, the uh, transition is very narrow between the uh, a normal bone and the affected bone uh, it is in the metaphysis of the bones so uh, uh, this uh, lesion is usually metaphysial uh, and uh, in some cases we're going to see the fallen leaf sign Falling leaf sign is a sign uh, characteristic and pathognomonic for simple bone cyst. It represents part of the cortex that fall into the cyst. You can see here this patient, the x-ray that we showed in the beginning of the lecture. There is a pathological fracture here. And then you can see here this cortex here, piece of cortex is inside this cyst. And it looks like a fallen leaf. So this is the fallen leaf, which is pathognomonic of a simple bone cyst. Now, quickly, we would like to differentiate between UBC, unicameral bone cyst, and aneurysmal bone cyst, uh, which is more aggressive. So this is here one of my patient um, accident, uh, accidental finding. We found a simple bone cyst, unicameral bone cyst in the fibula. You can see the area here uh, that has a cyst, loss of the bone structure. So this is normal bone structure. And here uh, you can find the cyst, which is thin. Uh, cortex um, uh, and area uh, radiolucin and you can see we, um, one of the things that we uh, uh, describe about and uh, about unicameral bone cyst or simple bone cyst is that is the size of the lesion does not become bigger than the size of the growth plate 
if you see here this is an aneurysmal bone cyst you see the market expansion here and the ballooning of the lesion which becomes now wider than the growth plate so this uh, here uh, with the wide very wide expansion to the degree that you can barely hear for example see any uh, cortex the, uh, the the cortex become extremely thin uh, and uh, very um, uh, uh, large lesion we call it ballooning here so the lesion is uh, becoming much uh, bigger than the size of the physis so the width here of this lesion is bigger than the width, uh, width of the growth plate uh, so this is how we differentiate unicameral simple bone cysts from aneurysmal uh, the aneurysmal um, it has ballooning uh, the, the um, uh, cortex become extremely extremely thin as you can see and the uh, width of the lesion becomes bigger than the width of the physis as we said the most common uh, location for a, a, a unicameral bone cyst is proximal humerus however uh, still cases can uh, happen in the distal humerus as you can see here uh, simple bone cyst uh, um, uh, well circumscribed uh, a lesion uh, um, with radiolucency uh, indicating that this is a simple bone cyst so the treatment of a unicameral bone cyst if this cyst was discovered accidentally in an x-ray for another uh, cause you do not have to do any treatment if it's symptomatic if it's causing pain if there is pathological fracture uh, there should be orthopedic referral uh, if there is a pathological fracture the treatment first is observation because there is a chance that the lesion will heal with healing of the fracture uh, if that does not happen and uh, the cyst persists or if there is pain from the cyst uh, this cyst can be injected sometimes we can inject steroids or inject synth a synthetic bone substitute so this is um, an example of a patho a pathological fracture you can see it here from a simple bone cyst uh, the cyst was left for healing you can see here the healing of the fracture there is a callus bridging the fracture and with more time you can see uh, the start of the healing so this area which was uh, radiolucent here uh, started to form more bone indicating that there is a signs of healing of this cyst another case uh, here is a pathological fracture from a unicameral bone cyst you can see the pathological fracture you can see the unicameral bone cyst in the proximal metaphysis of the humerus uh, and with time there is a healing here the fracture had healed and you can see more bone is forming in the cyst indicating that there is a healing with observation of this cyst uh, another example this is the patient that we saw in the first slide um, uh, he has the fallen leaf sign he has the pathological fracture here this is seven months without doing anything the uh, lesion started to heal completely you can see here the, the unicameral bone cyst here um, it's in the proximal metaphysis the width of the lesion is less than the width of the physis so this is not an aneurysmal bone cyst it's a unicameral or simple bone cyst and this was left for observation and shows good signs of healing here you can see good bone is forming here instead of the area of the cyst uh, so this is the uh, treatment for this patient which was observation um, uh, as this uh, lesion may heal after fracture so this is a, a simple bone cyst you can see here uh, again this is an area of radiolucency um, a thin cortex uh, the width of the uh, lesion is less than the width of the growth plate uh, all this indicate that this is a simple bone uh, cyst as we said the, the second most common after the proximal uh, humerus is the proximal femur so you can see here the uh, uh, simple bone cyst and there is a pathological fracture here uh, so this is a pathological fracture with a, a simple bone cyst in the proximal femur this is cannot be left for observation because the stresses on this area is too high so this was treated with internal fixation here if you can see we put the plate and screws and also in the same time you can see the material here that uh, uh, opaque area here that this is a um, bone substitute that we applied in this area to help with the healing so not all cases are treated with observation um, if there is too much stresses if the uh, 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 severe pain or instability as this case you cannot put weight on this uh, extremity the treatment is internal fixation as you can see here plate and screws with injection of material here bone substitute to help with the healing 
Another example here, simple bone cyst in the distal uh, humerus. Not all this, uh, the bone cysts are in the proximal. You can see the lesion here, radiolucent region. It has a, a radiolucent area here. There is uh, The bone structure has gone. Uh, there is a thin cortex. There is thin area of transition between the normal bone and the lesion. The lesion is not expandable, so this is not an aneurysmal bone cyst. This patient um, was having lots of pain, severe pain in her arm, so this could not have been treated with observation. So we booked the patient for surgery for um, injection of material and possible uh, uh, prophylactic fixation. Uh, however, uh, uh, two days before the surgery, the patient actually broke her arm uh, with normal uh, movement. She was picking uh, uh, like a three pound uh, object and she broke her arm. So this patient uh, needed to have surgery, so we put an internal fixation here. You can see we put uh, two uh, um, uh, intramedullary uh, flexible nails. You can see them here from the side, here from the front. And if we see here this material here, this is a, a bone substitute. Uh, it's calcium phosphate. Um, it's a synthetic bone material that we injected into the lesion to help with the healing. And uh, eight months down the road, you can see the lesion completely healed. Uh, the, um, there is an, a normal bone here uh, instead of the cyst that was there. Uh, the synthetic bone material started to transform to uh, a normal bone uh, and uh, the prophylactic fixation you can see here. So uh, this was the treatment of this patient. So again, if there is no um, pain, this was accidentally discovered, you can treat them with observation. If there is a fracture, uh, uh, you wait because sometimes the uh, lesion will heal with the healing of the fracture. If there is lots of pain, um, uh, the treatment is uh, injection, either steroids or uh, synthetic uh, um, material, bone material. Uh, if there is instability or impending fracture, uh, you add internal fixation. I'd like to thank you. Uh, all my videos are for educational purpose only. Please consult your doctor before any decision.